Aloha, it's Kanaka Yab Yab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. The Career Expo is back again. Are you looking for a new gig? Our Career Expo will be held on Wednesday, October 30th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Neil Blaisdell Exhibition Hall. Register online at hawaiicareerexpo.com. Admission is free, and we hope to see you there. Football fans, the 2024 Football Fever Contest is here. Pick up a copy of the Star Advertiser and submit your picks by Friday to meet or beat the score of the winning panelist each week. Play each week for a chance to win $500. At the end of the season, one lucky grand prize winner will win a trip for two anywhere Alaska Airlines flies. Special thanks to our Football Fever sponsors, Hawaiian Telecom, Long's Drugs, and Alaska Airlines. Don't miss out on the action. Join the Football Fever Contest weekly for your chance to win. A tragic crash in Waikoloa this morning has claimed the life of 17-year-old Jessica Ann Sprinkle and left three other teens seriously injured, according to Hawaii Island Police. The crash occurred at 7.59 a.m. when the car driven by Sprinkle was broadsided by a tractor trailer carrying 5,000 gallons of water at the intersection of Mamalahoa Highway and Waikoloa Road. Sprinkle was pronounced dead at Kona Community Hospital while her passengers were transported for further treatment. Police are investigating and asking for witnesses to come forward. After a slow start to Hawaii's wet season, NOAA is predicting above average rainfall from December through April, driven by a developing La Nina pattern. Despite a relatively dry October, wetter conditions are expected to intensify in December. NOAA Senior Service hydrologist Kevin Kodama noted that while this year's dry season was the ninth wettest in three decades, parts of the state experienced drought and brush fire concerns. Residents are advised to prepare for increased rainfall, potential flooding, and landslides, and to stay informed of weather updates as the season progresses. The city and county of Honolulu has settled with the State Department of Health over illegal sewage discharges into Kailua Bay in 2023. Initially fined over $434,000, the city agreed to pay a reduced penalty of $168,575. The discharges, which exceeded permit limits for bacteria, occurred on 13 days between April and May 2023. The city is also working with the EPA to improve the Kailua wastewater plant's operations, including installing a UV disinfection system by 2025 to reduce harmful bacteria. Monitoring and equipment upgrades are ongoing to prevent future incidents. A federal lawsuit filed by the owners of a Chinatown nightclub and an LGBTQ plus guide to the islands against the Honolulu Liquor Commission has reached a tentative settlement. The plaintiffs, Scarlet Honolulu Inc. and Gay Island Guide LLC, allege anti-gay discrimination by investigators. The settlement includes a $670,000 payment and federal court oversight of the commission's operations. The Honolulu City Council is expected to vote on the settlement in November. The lawsuit, which began in 2021, has highlighted issues within the commission regarding its treatment of the LGBTQ community. After 17 years in business, Hank's Hot Dogs in Kaka'ako has officially closed its doors. Owner Henry Hank Adonia, who gained fame for his gourmet hot dogs, retired on Thursday after serving his last customers. Known for creative takes on the classic hot dog like the Chicago Dog and Lobster Fat Boy, Hank's became a local favorite and was featured on Guy Fieri's diners, drive-ins, and dives. Despite challenges including the pandemic, Adania is grateful for the community's support and plans to explore new ventures in retirement. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here next week Monday.